quarter acre for the people is all about connecting people who don't have access who don't own land with plots of land that they can farm and learn on and grow their own plants harvest to their heart's content Quarter Acre is all about what you can do, the amazing amount of things you can do on a tiny piece of land. And when you think about it, Quarter Acre, is a, it's a decent size. It sounds like a tiny piece, like a quarter, but that's a good sized backyard. Quarter Acre for the People is mainly for people who've experienced racially motivated discrimination with regard to housing, health, and food. And so we really focus on getting people on land who are in urban environments and who are dealing with tenants issues and who are living in food deserts. We all knew if you don't eat healthy food, if you don't get exercise, if you don't have access to space to stretch your limbs and have a breath of fresh air, you're going to have health impacts um, and racism is built into that and so focusing our energy on people who've been impacted by systemic racism and are experiencing health disparities because of it this program is really about trying to leverage everything we can to support people and get people back on track Regenerative agriculture to me is about returning to methodologies or methods that are sustainable and healthy, that you can do it over and over and over and over for a period of millennia in ways actually can turn back the tide on the damage that has been done. So we think about extractive agriculture where you're just focused on what you can take and what you can pull out. This is also being mindful of what you're putting in. We chose perennials because you plant them once, you do some pruning, you take care of them, but they just keep working and they keep producing and they keep fruiting for you over and over and over. Farmers and landowners really see the value in it because they're burnt out. Like, this food system that we've created here in this country is unsustainable across the spectrum of participants. You have people who don't have access to fresh produce and healthy food. And the idea of having to do everything as a farmer with very little help, with very little cooperation, um, with very little community involvement is not sustainable. And so I think with this we can we can help people make relationship and create, create avenues for cooperation that were not there before. A lot of people just want to do the right thing and they see the inequities and they see that it's not right and they see that I want to change, I want to create change, I want to be the change. I think it's what humanity is all about.